Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I am Lonnie. Hey, good morning. I'm Candace. Welcome back. It's a uh, Friday afternoon. Friday, not afternoon. It's <laughs> Friday before noon. It is after ten. Though we went to a couple of garage sales this morning. We were out for a couple hours. And... Yeah, it's rainy, so um, when I was planning our route, I made sure to. Well, I mean, the only ones that were happening were people that knew they were going to be undercover indoors yep. or whatnot. So we ended up, I had three sales, garage sales on my route. One estate sale that I thought was like private, like family run. This has happened to me a couple of times. I get my estate sales off of estatesales.net and they do, instead of putting their company name, they do privately listed. I don't know why they wouldn't want people to know it's company run. I'm not sure what the strategy is behind that, but it was. Um, it was what? Company run. Right. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we left there and then we hit two more sales on the way home. We'll show you all that stuff in a little bit. We uh, we are in a little bit of a hurry, so we're going to go ahead and pull the orders for the sales we made yesterday, I think just on eBay, right? Yes. Um, eBay was our only sales yesterday. So. All right. We got 14 of them. And then uh, in a bit, we could show. We did, we did get a few cool things. Yeah. We found a few good buys, but yeah, it was uh and one questionable buy by me. Yeah, you know. That it's kind of, your your buy was kind of similar to my uh computer buy I made at the estate sale the other day. Mine's way say. cooler though. Okay. Uh okay. <laughs> you ready? I, yeah. First item is nine Charlie. It's a hat. It is a Tommy Hill figure. Right nine charlie oh, i didn't even realize we this is a new hat box we have here i had to start one um when i did when i listed some of the kevin hats yeah okay got um, it that sold for 21 dollars and 24 cents oh wow that's pretty decent um 4d dracula a do you want to grab the other one too yeah a and b are the two that sold today a and b all right a pile of draculauras over here there's b and there's A. Are those all listed? Yeah. Um, those each sell for $30. I bet we sell the ones that I just went through over the weekend. Which one I bet? Um, we sell you know, one sold for $25, huh? Or that one already shipped? Um, that was the one that shipped yesterday. Ah, uh, okay. These each sold for $30. All right, so we, had, we sold a plate. We had to go get it at storage. We stopped by on the way here. Uh, the Bing and Grondel plate sold for eleven dollars and sixty-nine cents. Love. Well, you know what? We need to either combine. We need to probably lot those up or move them here or something. The ones that are left. Yeah. You know? All right. Next item, Italiana. Okay. Yeah, this one sold late last night. actually did an offer of uh 35.99 on this one they paid 40. huh oh no you know what we have another one going out that's oh, why we? yeah okay yeah this one this one sold for 40. okay all right six echo we have a lot of two devo funko pumps oh yeah the uh whip it and satisfaction yeah we actually hear this satisfaction song probably once a week on uh channel 33 on xm yep. it's actually not bad those sold for 13 dollars and 49 cents all right and the cube it's a cd an opera music cd famous italian baritones mm -hmm. in the cube uh-huh which one? Oh, oh. Is that that's what it's called uh, oh. no I, I got it you're right i don't know if i can pronounce his name no that's fine i think that's it try? <laughs> no, that's okay. Famous Italian baritones, Levendige, forget. I yeah, I can't say it either. I, I'll, Thirteen dollars and forty nine cents. I'll look at the. I'll look at it before I pack to make sure. That looks like it, unless they have a bunch that look the same. They don't. I mean, they all they have a bunch that have the pink on them, but okay. that picture should be. That looks like it. Unique. All right, three Delta. We sold the Baton Rouge Zoo Animal Keepers Manual. You know, that's the only one that's ever sold anywhere. I think. Yeah. Ever. Well, I mean, we couldn't find any evidence of another one selling. There we go. Animal Keepers Manual, Greater Baton Rouge Zoo. That's cool. So I listed it for 
for 30 I just I kind of had to come up with a price so I looked at other company manuals you know like around that era and I just kind of came up with a price I didn't know yeah nothing wrong with that Tent Charlie Final Fantasy 7 for PSP Crisis 4 got it that's all for 16 alrighty uh, we sold a razor in R13. Razors are doing good. For 50. Wow. All right. R13 sold for 50. Italiana. Now that's the one that sold for 36, I think. Shoot, we had a lot of stuff, so. All right. Yeah. Uh, two Delta, do Scorgon. Glad to see one of those sell. We haven't sold. We haven't been selling the other characters besides uh, Dracula and Frankie and Frankenstein. Occasionally, one of the others, but that's the two heavy. Ones. Right. Uh, another razor R twenty four. Okay. That one also sold for fifty. Wow. <laughs> Killing it with the razors, man. Wow. And then the last item is this Tora Lee sold for uh, 14 and I just need to like, I like to trim her and make it pretty and then wrap her up for Lonnie. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Make, may I make, make sure it looks pretty for Lonnie. You're making it pretty for the customer, not me. Okay. <laughs> and that's everything we have going out today. Okay, that's uh, that's some a, easy pack in there, huh? Yeah, I like, man, we need to get some more. We need to find a bunch more of these $50 razors. $50 razors. That's what I really like. Yep. <laughs> I mean, that'll take me like five seconds to pack. I know. Okay, here's, uh, here's a few things we picked up. Yeah. So, um, let's see, these books were from the estate sale. Yeah, I, Candace, you found this. I found it in the closet. And these well, were, I think these were off like 50 cents a piece. They were on a bookshelf in the in bedroom. I'm like, look, there's a cookbook in the bedroom. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> Reloading book. That's worth uh, 15 to $20. We paid 50 cents for it. And then this is a bolo, y'all. These are like homesteading or i don't know what the heck it's survivalist about. type books it's how to do a bunch of stuff it's called the foxfire book hog dressing log cabin building mountain crafts and food foods snake sounds board, like it's everything you ever need to know about anything moonshining look, slaughtering hogs yep look at that churning your own butter like spinning and weaving midwifing yeah this is like stuff you need to live exactly this is like how to how to live without people helping you yes how to be self-sufficient basically yes. and we have six of them and um we paid 50 cents a whack for these so that's three bucks yeah. and i i found a sold for those six for eighty two dollars and fifty cents so Sweet. That's that's probably the best buy. Of the and they day. made you said they made nine of these books, right? Uh, I saw one that had nine. They're asking like 150 or something. But there may be more than. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't okay. know what the total. That's cool. Fox. I never heard of that before. So if yeah. y'all see these Foxfire books, yeah, uh, they're pro they're worth picking up. These look like they're in pretty decent when shape. When were they too. written? What year are they from? Uh, oh, we go. should have a date. Seventies. Seventies. Yeah. 1972 oh look at that yeah oh look he look he has his own little thing for his library that's a library identification label all right now uh, garage sale up so i i stumbled upon where these granny afghans can go for like really good money when i say really good like i saw one sold for 80 dollars i think it's all about the patterns the size the colors so I'm gonna dip my toe in the um, crochet in the blanket. granny granny blanket market. The granny blanket market. Hey, it makes sense. Like what? Yeah, this is a big one too. Um, a perfect size for snuggling up on the couch. Is anything more comfortable when you're sitting on the couch or the lazy boy and you, it's a little chill in the air and you you want a little bit of warmth. Yeah. But you don't want to get smothered. Right. So these kind of things can like. It's a blanket with air conditioning. Exactly. So I mean, <laughs> I think it's. I love those. Who doesn't love a good afghan? Is that what that is? Is an afghan? Yeah. Sort I, of. I, I don't know if afghan means size. 
because then when you get bigger, you get into bed spreads and blankets. I yeah. don't know. I don't I'm going to learn, though. It is crochet, right? Yeah. Or knitting. I don't know. <laughs> I think that's called crochet. We don't know. But you know what? I bet you could find out in one of these. Yeah, let's see. One of these tells you how, how to, to make it. How to crochet an afghan no, with granny yeah. squares. Yeah, okay. <laughs> anyway, I paid $5 for that. Then at a garage sale, this says original stock. I think it says stock. It's a freaking grip. Yeah. For Ruger SP10, SP101. Yeah. And uh, they wanted $2. So what the box says is, what does the box say? Um, <laughs> it's not what's in there, according to this. They didn't know what it was for. Well, no. They bought this, put it on the gun, and then took the original grip off. Oh, so, so I'm gonna. That, that's a different grip than the box states. Exactly. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna figure out. I'm gonna look this grip up and make sure it's the right grip, and There's, then I'll sell it. And there may be a model number in there somewhere. Yeah. Somewhere. Like on the grip. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, I'll look that up. Okay, this was my pretty much bad buy of the day, and I kind of knew it, but I wanted it. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've done that. It's a little tin um, CBS van, like for the television station. And in good condition, they go for around 150 on up. Um, I've got a few issues, not huge. Like um, there is like- uh, I'd say you have a lot of issues. It's got an indention in here. Um, yeah, you could tell, like you could tell it's been squeezed. Like if you look here, it kind of bows in. This side doesn't, but this side does. Yeah. And then um, we're missing one of the little hubcaps here. Yeah. And uh, the friction, I don't know, it works. But it's like the van is too it. heavy or something. It works. It kind of goes, yeah. I guess so. It works. I guess I'm used to the little cars that just zoom off. Yeah, you might have to put a little more into it. So, yeah. mm, made in Japan, huh? Yeah. I, People not... are calling this marks unless there are two versions maybe or maybe marks didn't just didn't put their name on it i don't know did you see a maker on it anywhere no that's all i saw so, so um i'm gonna list it for 100 there's no actives right now so maybe somebody will buy it i mean yeah it is cool looking still look cool sitting up on the shelf oh definitely a great shelf sitter yep uh so we paid 55 for it at the uh, estate Candace sale. Candace paid 55 I had no part of Which that. Which yours is mine, which mine is yours. Uh, We're in this together, remember? I, I hope I hope we sell that and don't have it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm kidding. I, look, I, you you give me some grace whenever I make my, my crazy, oh, yeah. wacky buys. Uh, I got some vans for $7. They're just purple, but, I mean, they're, they're like they're clean. super clean. Like, I don't even know. Look at the soles. They were maybe worn once. Uh, Maybe. Yeah. You know, those are really clean. Yeah. Okay. They're not my size. What do you think they're worth? Like a probably 30, 40, something like that. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, and then the last thing that I bought, Lonnie had nothing to do with this. No, it's fine. These are uh Chromex canisters. Lonnie just did a little research and found out that this is the trim line. Yeah, Chromex line. Chrome trim line trim canisters, line. and you're missing one. Yes, they're supposed to be one, like they're supposed to go like this, and there should be a little T for T, T E A. Yeah. Right here um, that I am missing. I think just like at, once they're cleaned up, like just the three, I can get probably $40 for them. Okay. And I paid eight. So. All right. Well, we got some cool stuff to list. Yeah. And uh, I mean, hell, even if you get. If you get a hundred for that little CBS van, we get that sticker off the top, real quick, like now. Uh, but if you get a hundred for that, that's fine. You know, even if we make thirty bucks or something on it, it's cool. Yeah, I'm gonna it, go ahead and get it listed today while there's no actives. I bet somebody <laughs> buys. I bet somebody will pay a hundred for that. I think so. It's not that beat. Yeah. There, I think there are so, a few accessories and stuff that go with it too that we don't have. Maybe. But. I don't know. I mean, Look, I like how they even, the inside is decorated. Yeah. It's not stickers, it's printed or painted. Lithograph. The tin, yeah. That's called tin lithograph, yeah. tin litho so, or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, so we got a few uh, fun things. The, the bolo on this table, though, 
Oh, those Foxfire books. Be yeah. on the lookout for those things for sure. Those yeah. are awesome. Yeah. And so what did we spend? We spent, let's see. This was like three fifty, eight fifty, ten fifty, sixty-five fifty, seventy-two fifty, eighty fifty. Eighty-two dollars. Oh, you already added it, huh? Yeah, I know. Like at the state sale, we spent sixty. Uh, we spent two on this, fifteen here, and then five. Okay. Okay. Cool. Oh well, good little break up, breaking up the day on a Friday. Yeah, walking around in the rain. Yeah, hopefully. Why well, well, he was so cute with his little umbrella? I did that once. <laughs> I don't. I don't like using umbrellas. Oh, no. When he asked you for an umbrella, I'm like, oh, he really doesn't, because he doesn't mind getting a little, you know, wet. I, I always bring a raincoat. No, it was a long driveway. I was going to have to walk down. He's walking down. The oh my gosh! Give me a break. <laughs> I did not look. I do not walk like that with an umbrella. I walk very manly with an umbrella. I take big strides. It's he coming holds, through. He holds it with one hand and he's like. No, I don't. Give me a bro. Oh my God, you, it's ridiculous. <laughs> okay, this is kind of exciting. It might be nothing. This might be a Geraldo Rivera goes into Al Capone's tomb kind of moment. Yeah. But I was kind of flipping through the books real quick. And look, these are homesteader, prepper type self-sufficiency books, right? And I found an envelope in that one. I haven't touched it. What you, other. What do you think's in it? Man, I'm hoping there's money in it. But I think, I think there's some seeds. You think? To plant or garden. It, it might be a love letter. It's either a love letter or it's like 40 bucks or something. Look, it's to Mitzi. Is, oh. it, is it sealed? No. No? What is it? Oh, it's a picture. Okay, it's personal pictures. Yeah. It's nothing. All right. Oh man. Candace is rubbing her hands together, ready to ready to put some money in her ready hands. To plant a garden. <laughs> One of the good things about making bulk buys is you discover things that you wouldn't have discovered otherwise, like Candace with the razors, mm -hmm. and then me with these rockets. I feel like I've probably seen rocket stuff before, and I just kind of like passed over it, but. The fact is, this rocket stuff does pretty well. Like, I'm gonna show you all the listings I've actually put up so far. This rocket, now some of this stuff was kind of open, but not, not used. You see that a lot with other models too. But like this Big Bertha rocket I listed for 50. This was missing a lot of parts, it's just a, it's a parts assortment kit. I listed that for 35. That's actually probably priced a little low. A couple of parachutes and some wadding I listed for 16. This is a built rocket here that I listed for 45. And then we have, look, Kansas, there's another one over there I'm gonna list in a minute. That is a... Where, a how do you know what it is? It says uh, AGM 12D right there, okay. you see it? Yeah. So this, I don't think that's gonna be super expensive because those are real common, but that's probably about $20 right there. Hmm. And then, let's see, what else? Did, I saw you had it on this yesterday. Does it go together? I, think, I don't know what that, no, I don't know what that goes to, or so if that's just a generic, that's probably a generic launch pad. It says Estes on it, Estes. That's the, that's the brand. Oh. That's who makes all the model stuff. And then uh, look, this sealed long shot model 55, Maverick sealed 35. Just depends on which one you have and that's all I've listed so far. And then I have this other one here, it's called a Scamp. I don't know what that one's worth yet. This one's open at the top, but it looks like it has everything in there. And then I'm gonna list this. And then there's a bunch of odds and ends that aren't really worth anything in there including this looks like it should go together huh? it might i might make an odds and ends parts lot or something yeah. the only thing i'm probably not going to sell is are these these are actually They're rock ex explosive uh, yeah these are the rocket motors themselves and yeah. you can ship these you just have to ship them ground but they're dime a dozen. You can go to Michael's right now or wherever hobby shops and buy these pretty cheap. So mm -hmm. I don't see any point. Yeah. But yeah, the uh, look, there's Big Bertha right there. The boxes look cool. But then you open up the boxes and they just have friggin' 
paper towel tubes and pla I'm, plastic cones in them. So. I told Lonnie we need to go in the rocket kit business. Oh yeah. We're constantly throwing away rocket kit uh, components. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> So that's what I've been working on. And Candace is about to do something kind of fun here in a minute. Yeah, cross your fingers that this actually works. I've never used one of these. I ordered an um, ultrasonic cleaner for my razors. So I'm gonna, I'm not gonna use it on like the gold, you're not supposed to use it on plated stuff like gold. I have some gold plated razors and stuff. But the solid like brass and um, chrome you can, not chrome, uh, nickel maybe or you know, your stuff that's not plated um, will definitely do okay in here. So I'm about to get it up and figure out how to use it. And hopefully we'll have a good before and after shot for you. Okay, that'll be interesting. Yeah. That thing was how? It's a Yukoki? Yeah, this is uh, one of the Amazon brands. I think it was like 30 bucks. One thing I did see in somebody's review said to look for this feature. Make what? sure Yeah. Dagos? Dagos or Dagos. Uh huh. What does that mean? It's some kind of cycle you do to get the bubbles out of the water or something. I don't know. This is all new to me, so I'm kind of going to learn as I go. Okay. So you're supposed to be able to put it in there, run it, and then take it out and it's clean. Yeah. And you just have to dry it off. It uses like sonic waves or whatever to get out in all the nooks and crannies and just get all the grime and dirt off. I've of seen it. it work before because I, I watch, uh, sometimes I'll watch some of these watch repair guys. And that's what they'll do. They'll take the they'll take all the parts. They'll take the watch completely apart, and then they'll put it in. They have little holders and stuff, you know, so they don't lose the parts. Yeah, for and those they, little bitty parts, I bet. Right, and then they run it through something like that. Although I'm sure theirs is probably more expensive than that one. <laughs> oh my gosh! I just saw. Oh, it's on the front. Too. It looks like some quackery going on Instead here. Instead of shining, it says shining, shining. image after cleaning. <laughs> All right, Candace has her little gadget out. What'd you do? You just put filled it up with water? Yeah, I put some hot water or warm water. Now, this is that Dagos or Dagos. Uh -huh. Press for better performance and to protect item from oxidization. It also prevents chemical reactions with air molecules. Okay, and you have to press a button for that or something? Yes. In what cases would you not want to press that button? I don't know. Everybody just says just use it for money. You do that, it will cycle for nine and then stop for six. Nine minutes? Yeah. No, nine seconds. Oh. Uh, okay. Now my little stuff is not... Let me see. Let me mix up my detergent. Do you think that's necessary? It was, the Dawn was just sitting on the bottom. I, I know, I just... Look at it vibrating. So is that all it does? It just like... Just it, shakes every now I and think then? It, gets all the like air out of the water. Okay, so let's see this thing work. Right. You got a before or something? What are you gonna clean? Okay, so now for deep cleaning it says use 380 or use 380 or 480, that's seconds I think. Okay. So I took some before pictures of this guy you can see, I think it was actually once like plated in some gold color or something. And um, so we'll see what see it looks it? like after. I probably should kind of take it apart, huh? As much as I can. Yeah, I'm curious to see like how it does on that part right there. You see the under parts and stuff? Like inside there and stuff. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, but just... the handle does come off. So we'll at least. I would at least do that. I maybe, wouldn't take that part maybe, apart. I wonder, open it, maybe. Yeah, open it. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it came with this little basket. We're going to drop it down in there. Probably didn't need that much water, but I didn't know. All right, so then there's a timer button to select our time. I'm going to just do 380. Okay. Um, ta -da. All right. I think we're ready. Oh, I guess i got to close it. Huh? All right, and then it'll just stop when it's done. We'll see what happens. It's definitely making noise. Yep. Why do I feel like this is some quackery? <laughs> I really do. I don't know. And I don't know what this little tree is for here. It never tells you? It probably does somewhere. It's kind of interesting. The top goes opaque. opaque. So I if think, Yeah, I think that's steam from the water, huh? I, don't, I have no idea. Is I it getting hot in there? It's like condensation. 
Well, I did use pretty warm water, um, so it's probably just steam off of that. Is it? Yeah. You can feel this. Yeah, it's pretty hot. Yeah. I mean, not, it's like it's like bath temperature water. Okay. So. Well, we'll come back uh, whenever this thing's done. Three hundred seconds. <laughs> What's that? That's like five minutes. Yeah. Okay, so our first cycle finished. Um, I don't see too. I mean, I do see a little bit of. Can a, you tell? Not much. So I'm gonna put it back in, and I, from what I read, it does take quite a like a probably like two or three cycles at least. Um, and I'm gonna add in this cruddy brass one here. We'll see what it does to that. I don't. Yeah, this one does come up quite. Let me see it. Is there is there actually crud on it? Oh yeah. It's got like corrosion and stuff. We'll see if it does anything to that. It may not do anything with corrosion there. Yeah, I don't know. We're gonna find out. <laughs> And you don't have to use the basket. I just didn't know. Like, I'm scared about it scratching it. But it said the basket is really to keep, like, the little parts from falling down in there or whatever. I don't know. Let's pump it up to 480. All right, so that cycle ended. And I saw some difference. Whoa! Okay, so I decided to try it without the basket. And look at oh all, my gosh. Look at all that grime down in there. Look at all the junk. Gross. Man, that is stuff that it took off of there. Or it took out of all the little right. nooks and crannies. Okay, well it must be working. Yeah. And like Bonnie said, like with, well I don't know, that brass does look Oh, it shiny. looks way better. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I don't know about that. Now... No, I do have the brass, so I think I'm gonna give it one more cycle, dry it off, and then try the brass, so and see what happens. Yeah, that's the thing. Like that thing will clean, but it's not gonna like shine your metals for you. Look at look at all that crap, though. That's gross. Man, that is nuts. Yeah. Okay, that definitely got it out of somewhere. That yeah. water is disgusting. Yeah. Okay, let's go one more. You gonna reuse that water? Why not? Okay. I don't know. I don't know if it matters or not. <laughs> All right, how many cycles is this now? Um, for the for the silver for the silver one, this is the fourth cycle. Two with basket, two without, and then um, the brass one. This is the second cycle without basket. Okay. So I'm gonna. Oh, I know it's so gross. it's really disgusting in there, y'all. Look at all that. Look at all the junk in there. Look at that crud. Looks like old moldy water in there. Yeah. Oh my god, it's really, really gross. Okay, they do look a lot better. I yeah, must it admit. Does, huh? Yeah, it's got a little. I'm gonna see. That might be actually some of the. I think this one actually was once upon a time. Yeah, it was had like this brass coating on it or something. So I think there's some left right there. I don't know if y'all can see it. Okay. Brass, I will probably take that off honestly. And then I'm gonna hit this with some brasso too i'm gonna get them all dried off and brasso them and we'll take a look at the final result all right so i'm getting the brasso on this brass one and you can already see look how good it's looking there's a couple of spots that were pretty dark so i'm kind of letting it soak on there all right so i got finished doing the brasso and just look at them and we'll get some put they some, look awesome yeah they're not like new, but man, compared to especially the brass one. Now, one thing I like, sometimes brasso just, there's spots that it just cannot get. And I don't know if maybe, maybe I'll try like letting some sit on there overnight. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, I'm very pleased with the outcome. So I think the cleaner more just gets like the gunk out of all the um, nooks and crannies, you know. And any good, any surface dirt. Well, you used it on your ring, and it worked yeah. perfectly. Oh, yeah, my ring is like, I didn't, and it got junk out of my ring. I didn't know it was in there. Yeah. So, yeah. She didn't want to show her ring junk to you, though. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm happy with it. I'm going to have fun with it. And um, now that I know it does work better without that plastic tray, and the directions even says it does, I was just nervous about it maybe damaging stuff, but yeah i, I think, think it did fine yep yeah so, and that thing was 28 dollars, 28 something yes on amazon 
free and prime shipping. We aren't not 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 uh advertising it or anything. It could break tomorrow. Right, yeah, we're not endorsing it just yet. <laughs> it has pretty good reviews though. It oh. does. I, I kind of I did a quick brief research, you know, because I always read all the reviews because I know there's junk out there. And that's how I found out about that cycle. Oh, uh, okay. I don't know if that's a bunch of uh, bull hokey or whatever. A bunch of what? I don't know. I think I just made that word <laughs> up. <laughs> Malarkey? There you go. Balarkey. Balarkey. Uh, we can't say what we'd normally say if we weren't filming. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's... Uh, that's gonna be a wrap, right? Yeah, cause uh, I get, we gotta figure out what's for dinner cause I don't have anything planned and then uh -huh. plan out a garage sale route for tomorrow's beautiful weather. Okay, sounds like we're gonna have hot dogs and go to garage sales tomorrow then. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. We'll see y'all again very soon. Bye y'all. Bye.